This is an interesting red leather dispatch box made by JC Vickery of Regent Street. Um, and it's a little bit different to most dispatch boxes in that it's got a postal slit to the top here so that uh, you can put documents or letters in for the owner of a box, but only the key holder would be able to retrieve them. Uh, the handle to the top is a little bit unusual and that stands out, um, but we're gonna have a look at that in a minute and discuss the reasons why. It's made of a dark red grained leather. So the leather has been passed through a rolling machine and it's given it this textured finish. So if we open a Brahma lock, which is a nice sign of the quality of a box, we can see that uh, we've got the maker's details here. JC Vickery, to Her Majesties, the King and Queen, 179, 181, 183 Regent Street. And those dates help, those uh, addresses rather, help us to date the box to a period between 1902 and 1915. Uh, Vickery started in 1890 and John Vickery and T. Hobbs started the company at uh, 183 Regent Street. A year later, Hobbs left and Vickery was the sole owner. Um, by 1902, they'd expanded to uh, the addresses that we've got here. And by 1915, they'd expanded further to increase their shop floor. So if we have a look at the inside of a box now, we can see to complement the nice strong Brahma lock, we've got wonderful strong hinges. Um, they're corner hinges, they've also got an angled piece of metal to further support the lid when it's up. But also, I don't know if you can see, joining the two hinges is a brass gilt metal rod, which extends the full width of the box to really make it nice and strong. We can also um, see to the inside that there is a sprung steel bar, which keeps the envelope um, postal flap nice and strong. So uh, you have to really push things, uh, documents in, and it's very hard to get them out. We've also got some straps here so you can put some little notes. But in between these straps, we can see that we've got a pair of brass bolts along with washers. And those are for fixing these lion mask handles. Now, that gives us a clue that uh, the handle has had some sort of historic repair. It never would have had those lion mask handles originally. I think it's been on there a very long time, the, uh, the masks and the handle, uh, possibly done not long after the box was first purchased. But a maker like Vickery, and in fact, any maker, good quality maker really, would not leave these bolts showing if they were original. They would be covered by the leather and it would be a much tidier job. So we know that at some stage, the handle got broke. They reused the strap, it's the same leather and uh, did quite a neat little repair job with those bolts and those lion masks. Now, what else can this box tell us? Well, there's some initials to the top there. I don't know if you can see those. They are AR as well as RHG. Now, from those initials and uh, Vickery's address, and so consequently timeline, we know that they belong to Adrian Rose, who joined the Royal Horse Guards on the 29th of March, 1899, following an elder brother, Charles Ernest Rose, into the regiment, into the Blues. Um, Adrian Rose uh, went on to fight in a Boer War in South Africa. He got a South African, me a South African medal with three clasps and uh, in 1905 became a captain. Um, so there you go, quite an interesting box. Circa 1905, made by Vickery, um, leather on a softwood early repaired handle, good Brahma lock, 
and uh, very interesting, useful despatch box.